Welcome. So I'd like to review with you a few of the settings about the interface with Visual Studio Code. Now that you've got it downloaded, let's talk about what it looks like. This button up here is called the File Explorer, the Explorer menu. If you work on Windows, you're accustomed to it. Look what happens as I click it and unclick it. It just gives me this uh, left navigation. If I had some files opened right now, you'd see them here. In fact, I can choose Open Folder. And I'm sure in my downloads, because I've been grading, let's just look at one person's work here. He did a great job, Zach. So this is his folder. It's called Final Exam. And here are his assets. You can see them all here. He's got his CSS in here. There it all is. So this is um, the Explore menu, and it's accessed by clicking here. Sometimes when I want to see all my work full screen, I'll close this so that I can have more real estate. But usually I keep it open so that I can see the file hierarchy, which files are in which folders. This is a folder. Those are the files in it. This is the search button. Pretty uh, common for a piece of software like this. This is the source control. We won't be using this. This is the run and debug. We might be using this, but it's not likely. And this is the extensions folder. So I'd like to talk to you about the extensions that are worth installing. The first one I want you to install is called auto rename tag. So I'm going to just do a search for it right up here. Let me close this. I'm going to close this too. And I'll just type auto rename. And you can see it's the top hit. And all you need to do, I've already installed it, but all you need to do is click on it and choose Install. As you can see, mine says Disable or Uninstall because I've already installed it. It'll only take about 10 seconds to install. The next thing I want you to install is something called Prettier. And I'm going to type it here, P-R-E-T-T-I-E-R. And the one that I want you to install is this first, the top hit called Prettier Code Formatter. Let's just see if that's exactly the one that I have installed. I'm pretty sure it is. Yep, there it is, Prettier Code Formatter. The next one I want you to install is called the Brackets Extension Pack. And again, you'll just type a little bit of it up here and you should see it showing up. There it is. Um, no, that's not it. This is it right here. You can recognize this little logo. See that little blue circle with a four in it? What that's telling you is that it will install four extensions. So this one might take, I don't know, a minute or less than a minute. So that installs this brackets extension pack, installs brackets key map, CSS peak, IntelliSense and Live Server, which we'll use. This is a really great one. And the last extension I'd like to tell you to install is a color picker. I'm working on a Mac, so I chose the Mac OS color picker. If I search for a color picker here, you'll see there's a lot of them. There's the one that I installed. Um, I don't know which one of these is best. I would probably choose the top hit, but you can choose any of these that you want. You can experiment with them. None of them, none of them are going to ruin your computer. Um, but usually the top hits are the most popular ones. Now I'd like to talk about a few settings. And those are down here with this little cog. I'm going to go to the settings menu. And here they are. In the commonly used ones, the first thing I want to talk about is font size. I know that you're all young and uh, you have better than 2020 vision, I bet. But I'm old and I need to change this to 18 point. 
Um, another reason I like 18 point is because when I record videos for you, a larger point size is easier for you to read. If you plan to share your screen with your classmates, you might want to bump that up to something. It's um, Leaving it where it is is fine too. I like to leave this at four. Uh, that's the indent. And I like to change, where is word wrap? Where is that? Here it is. I like to put word wrap on. That just prevents you from having to scroll sideways when your code goes all the way off the page. Uh, the last one I like to add, and I have to do a search for it. It's called HTML auto close. There it is. Oops. Maybe it's better if the word, look, it only shows up when I have CLO typed. Um, what I'd like you to do is uncheck this. The reason is that when they automatically type your closing tag for you, it gets really annoying because you want to put things between those tags. We'll talk a little more about that later, but just know that this works best if you uncheck that. All right, that's all of the extensions and the settings that you'll need in Visual Studio Code. Let's get to work.